Now, this is the video that has gone viral in just a matter of days. We're talking about four million people have already watched that guy steal a Confederate flag from a Bay Area home. Now, deputies are trying to track down the flag thief. And John Rogers spoke with the Manatee County man whose flag was stolen. John joins us now in Bradenton, and that owner angry, I understand. John. Good evening, Stacey and Keith. He certainly is, and why wouldn't he be? Someone invaded his property and took something that belonged to him. The homeowner told me he wasn't trying to make a political statement with his Confederate flag, but he's making a statement today that he wants this suspect caught. Call no flagging right here. A brazen robbery shared no on social media. Come on, boy. On Saturday, this unidentified thief swiped this Confederate flag and quickly got away. It's now been seen by millions. Local law enforcement agencies were aware of it, but no one had any idea who the victim was until he came forward on Tuesday. He made a really nice leap, grabbed the point there, reached up, grabbed my flag and snagged it. Robin Aker noticed the missing flag on Sunday, but he didn't report it until a neighbor told him about the Facebook video. And when I seen it, it was like, okay, you guys are pretty ballsy to go ahead and put this on the internet. Aker wasn't trying to make a statement with his rebel flag. He said his South Carolina flag was tattered, so he put up his old Confederate flag as a replacement. Now it's gone, and the whole world has seen the culprit. Well, it's not really about what was taken, or who took it. It's about criminals that want to put it on the internet and they get hits. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office says the criminal would be charged with petty theft and they're confident he will be found. You know, it certainly gives us uh, a little bit of an advantage in an investigation when you've got it right there on video. No flagging, man. No flagging, man. Aker doesn't care much about the flag. He just wants justice. Do you want your flag back? No, because somebody else will take it. Deputy spent the day investigating the case and also trying to reach out to the person who first uploaded this on Facebook. As of now, there are no known suspects. So if you have any information on this case, call the Manatee County Sheriff's Office. Back to you guys. Advantage for authorities, though, as he points out. We have a good look at this guy. But is this uh, young man who took part in this uh, taking part in a trend? There seems to be a lot of this going on. Yeah, a lot of people were talking about this, and there is a strange trend online called the no flagging challenge. Uh, but I asked officials about that. There are no other reports of this going on here, but it's pretty dumb. Cat doing a crime on camera, not the smartest thing to do, Keith. Yeah, and then posting on video for all to see. Thank you, John Rogers, live in Manatee County.